Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across doesn't include? Could that be omits? Let's see if we can build off of that. Classic rock standard with Spanish lyrics. Uh, is it Oye Como Va? That doesn't fit, right? I think that's much too long. Considering everything. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're going for here either. Walked heavily. Having this start with an I seems really bad to me. It seems like it should be thumped or something like that. Hmm. London's Blank Gardens? I have no idea what this is. A line as multiple devices. Well, that should probably be sync. That doesn't mean that omits is correct, though. I think whatever this is is going to have an S at the end. Blank cat? Hmm. I don't know what this is going to be either. Man, this is a pretty tough corner for a Tuesday. Source of bills for short? <laughs> I don't think this is going to be about the IRS. I think this is going to be a source of dollar bills. That could be an ATM. That's a pretty fun clue. Props for It's the Hard Knock Life in Annie. Um, well, it's got to be plural because they asked for props plural. I wanted to say brooms, but that's too long. Could it be mops? Let's see if that's right. Divisions for weightlifters. Is that going to be sets? That's like divisions of exercises, I guess. Hmm. This could be thumped or stomped. I have a feeling it's going to end in ED. Supplement. That could be add to. That's kind of a tricky clue because... Supplement could be a verb or a noun. It's a verb in this case. Censoring sounds? That's probably bleeps, right? Like on television? Hmm. What is this? I don't recognize this. This seems like it should be all told, considering everything. So finally we can take out omits for sure. All told. I still don't know what this should be. Doesn't include. Hmm. Maybe this could be an alley cat? Yeah, that L really helped to see that. Okay, so is this gonna be like clomped? Is that a word? Yeah, maybe this could be lax. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be La Bamba, right? How could I forget La Bamba? Okay. Is this Kew Gardens? I know there's a Kew Gardens in Queens. What's this long across here? This is probably our first theme answer. Fragile art form crafted with air and heat. Um, well, I guess it could be blown something. Is it gonna be blown glass? That uses air and heat, yeah. And it was Kew Gardens, that's so interesting. Paint application. They're not talking about like Photoshop, right? This has to be about actually applying paint, right? What is that gonna be? Pretend to be at a Halloween party, say. I think this should be go as. You would go as a ghost or something. Company with a spokes duck. I'm pretty sure that's Aflac. Maybe this is going to be a coat. Yeah, an application of paint. Ooh, that was a little tricky to see. Drifting ice. That could be a flow. Very top. This could be Apex or Acme. Let's see what this is. Division of the Earth's crust. Could that be a plate? Like in plate tectonics? So that means this is going to be Apex. Dawn Goddess. Yeah, I think it is Eos. That's kind of tricky. And X's? 
important markings on treasure maps. Yeah, X marks the spot, supposedly. Okay, so this is going to be another theme answer here, probably. Starter on the mound often. That's often going to be an ace pitcher. Interesting. Can you see anything these two have in common? I'm looking at the ends of both of these. Glass and pitcher. Those are both vessels for holding liquids, right? I wonder if that's what our theme is today. Spot. That's very ambiguous. This could be about spotting something as a verb, or it could be like a blemish. Hmm. I'm not sure. College in New Rochelle, New York. Hmm. New Rochelle. That's not too far away from where I am. I don't know if I know this. You should never ever do this. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Um, it should be something like, don't try this at home or something. You should never ever do this. Hmm. I'm not sure. Mont Blanc, highest of the Alps. I don't think I know that one. Sounds like it's a kind of apex. A voice might be heard within this. A voice? Hmm. Let's see if we can get some of these small acrosses on the ends of these long downs. School in Columbus? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know, is it like Ohio State University? What X might mean? <laughs> is it another X on a treasure map? Hmm. I guess it could be tic tac or toe hmm maybe this is a t a voice might be heard within this could it be within earshot oh man that is very tricky um i guess this is probably a c or an e lab simulation hmm what is that gonna be could that be a test run Maybe this isn't about tic-tac-toe at all. I guess X could mean 10, right? As a Roman numeral? Very tricky. Let's put in test run. Vegetable in borscht. There's beets in borscht, but it's just asking for one vegetable, so it'll be singular beet. Stow as cargo. Is that gonna be laid? If something's laden, it's carrying a bunch of things. Hmm, that's a pretty tricky vocab word. Attorney General under Ronald Reagan. I know I've heard the name Ed Meese before. I wouldn't have been able to tell you he was an attorney general. I think that's probably right though. Chair parts that tend to wear out quickly. Yeah, that'll be arms, and it's arms plural because they're asking for parts plural. Is it Mont Blanc? Would that be the White Mountain? Piece of material used to strengthen a garment. Is that going to be an inset? I'm not 100% sure about that. Hmm, boy, we didn't have any luck building down, did we? Blank Gatos, California. I want to say it's probably Los Gatos. I don't know that for sure, though. Hmm. Is it Iona? That's ringing a faint bell. Longtime home appliance brand. Hmm. I don't know. Spot. Could that just be a place? Like we picked a nice spot on the grass. Hmm. It doesn't help too much here. Soda can features. Could that be pop tops? Yeah, I think it could be. Are we going to have another liquid vessel at the end of this answer? Type who's out of touch with reality. I really want this to be a space cadet. Could it be a space case? I think it could be. Um, I guess 
some cases have liquid in them. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be, it's a sin. You should never ever do this. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's a sin. That's a song too, isn't it? Maybe this is going to be a mana. I think that's an appliance brand. It was Iona after all, man. It doesn't excite me much. Another equivalent phrase. I think this could be meh. Best blank Academy Awards category. That's probably best actor. Is this going to be tithe? Church donation. Yeah, that's a tenth of your income. The tithe. Something about nothing, perhaps. Hmm. What is this talking about? Something about nothing. Hmm. This feels very tricky. What's this down here? Opera set in Egypt. That's Aida. So, Odo? Maybe this is Pop Tabs. There we go. And then this could be much ado about nothing. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can build over here for a little while. Micro or macro subject for short. Well, there's micro and macro economics. That could be econ for short. Some frozen drinks could be ices. Candy piece with white sprinkles. Um, is that a snow cap? That's like a chocolate candy, I think, right? Yeah. Neglected neighborhood. Is that going to be a slum? Let's see if we can get this next theme answer. It almost looks like it's going to end in barrel, right? Wait a minute. It looks like these are going up in scale, doesn't it? It's almost like vessels that could carry wine and they're increasing in size. You start with a glass, then you get a pitcher, then a case, then a barrel. Hmm. Maybe it's not wine, maybe it's beer? Because wine doesn't really come in a pitcher, right? Yeah, but it could be beer, a glass, a pitcher, a case, and barrel. Yeah, that makes sense. Metaphorical source of some government funds. Uh, is it going to be a pork barrel? Yeah, I know pork is kind of slang for wasteful government spending or like spending that some government officials carve out to spend in their own districts. Yeah, let's see if we can build off of that. Turn one's attention to... Hmm. I'm not sure. Running on blank. I would want that to be running on empty. Maybe it could be running on fumes instead. Yeah, that's pretty good. Holder of compressed data. Hmm. Compressed data? Is it going to be some kind of file? Oh, is it going to be a zip file? There we go. Veer sharply. That's got to be either zig or zag, right? I don't know which one. I guess we could put a G here. Relevant. Oh my god. Is this going to be germane? Wow. That is a $10 word. Very nice. Wrath. That could be ire. By Jove. Another equivalent phrase. This is kind of British sounding to me. I think a good equivalent British phrase could be I say. Yeah, it's a little bit affronted. J with a garage. That's J Leno. Oh, I spelled Jermaine wrong. Yeah, it should be an E. Yeah, I thought it was weird there wasn't an E on the end. Okay, so that's J Leno. Home of the Tree of Knowledge. I think that was Eden, according to the Bible, right? So this is Keon. Man, that's pretty tricky. This is looking like it's going to be aroused for stirred up. Yeah, so this turns out to be a zag. Parts. Hmm, this is another very ambiguous clue. It could be a plural noun, and it could be a verb. Hmm. I'm not sure which way it's going to go. Finish by? Is it going to be end on? 
like ending on a date. Burden, that could be an onus. Yeah, it's a thought. It's a thought. Hmm. This feels like it's being a little tricky. Nuisance, could that be a pain? This ending in an I looks weird. Parts. Hmm. It looks like we're gonna get a revealer here. Let's take a peek at this. We're thinking it might have to do with beer, right? Let's see if we're right about that. Comment before a stupid stunt or a hint to the ends of 17, 25, 36, and 50 across. Hmm. I think that should be hold my beer, right? <laughs> That's what you say before you do something really stupid. That is so funny. Yeah, and all of these things hold beer. Very nice. Yeah, we were on the right track there. I'm happy with that. Okay, in the no, could that be hip? You're hip to the latest gossip? Phyllis Wheatley wrote one to Neptune. Could that be an ode? So this is not gonna be pain? Nuisance. Could it be a pest? Maybe this is end at. End at a certain time. Let's put in pest. It's a thought, that's gonna be idea. That's easier to see without that incorrect O. So this is roles, parts, yeah, like in a theater maybe. Very tricky. Jess Singer Sylvia. I don't recognize this name. Get off the stage, an equivalent phrase. That's gonna be boo. Hopefully you don't hear that after you play your role. Oh my goodness. Portmanteau for a radical environmentalist. Um, I have no idea. It's got to start with eco though, right? Like crosswords on Monday vis-a-vis -vis those in the rest of the week. Well, crosswords on Monday are the easiest, so I guess that's what they're looking for there. Easiest? Yeah. Baseballs and basketballs, but not footballs. Baseballs and basketballs are spheres. Yeah, and footballs are definitely not. So we have nosh, snack on. Yeah, when you have a word in parentheses like this in the clue, that means you have to be able to put it at the end of your answer and still have it sound correct. So nosh on still sounds good. Situation that might lead to extra time. That'll be a tie in a sports game. Desktop accessory. Desktop accessory, hmm. Are they talking about a literal desktop or a computer desktop? I'm not sure. Gets ready to wash, say? To wash. Hmm. What is that gonna be? I'm not sure what this should be. You know what, I think a desktop accessory could be a mouse. Yeah, they are talking about something that would literally be on your desktop. So I wonder if this is going to be an eco-tour, like a saboteur? Oof, that's really tricky to see. Maybe this is going to be sorts? Like you sort your laundry before you wash it? Oh man, that was very tricky. And then this is going to be Sylvia Sims. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of her. This was a tricky little corner here. Eco-tour and Sims? Wow. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully this S is right. Let's throw that in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 24 minutes. That's a little bit of a slow time for a Tuesday, but I feel like this Tuesday played pretty difficult, actually. Yeah, this was by no means an easy Tuesday puzzle. Yeah, I think there was some kind of difficult vocabulary and it felt like the cluing was tuned a little harder than usual too. We had some tricky vocab like germane and eco tour, which I'd never seen before. And then a lot of kind of ambiguous cluing, especially for a Tuesday with clues like parts for roles and this one too, spot for place. That's very ambiguous. That's the kind of clue you see more often in later week puzzles. And that really adds to the difficulty, yeah. So it's surprising to see so many of them on a Tuesday. Yeah, that definitely amped up the difficulty. 
but I think overall it was a pretty fun solve, and I really enjoyed this theme. Hold my beer, what a great revealer phrase. And I kind of love how they clued it, comment before a stupid stunt. And I also appreciated how all of our beer containers increased in size as you went down the puzzle. You start with a glass, then a pitcher, then a case, then a barrel, and I think by the time you've had that much beer, you're ready to perform a stupid stunt and say, hold my beer. Yeah, that was really, really fun. All right, well, even though that wasn't the easiest Tuesday puzzle ever, I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.